What's up, everyone? It's Muhammad here from Loudwire here at the fourth Metal Masters. Uh, what would you guys call it? Uh, it's a clinic, I guess you could say. Extravaganza. Extravaganza. Ah, uh, very nice. Yeah, here in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I'm here. Gary Holt of Exodus, Frank Bello, Anthrax, and the bass master, Billy Sheehan. Thank you guys so very much. Very kind of you. This is amazing. Uh, and this show is so, it's so unique because so many careers and bands and songs are represented, so many achievements. Uh, how, sneaking a beer in there, <laughs> how do you guys go about uh, creating a set list for a show like this? I don't know, it was created for me. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just following orders. Really? You know what, we, we talked about a bunch of songs a long time ago and somehow Kerry wrote an email. <laughs> <laughs> and sent it out and we just agreed or disagreed it kind of like it was like that and we fine-tuned it it's kind of what happened all right well in that discussion of what you guys should play uh, it, it must have been really interesting to know like what you know uh, what anthrax's favorite slayer song is or slayer's favorite anthrax song it, it, was there a weird defining moments like that when you're just like wow i can't believe that that song is so important to these people well, uh, I have to hand this one off to you guys because I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm an uncharted, well. uncharted uh, territory. No, it's just because this is the kind of music we were going to play. We were going to play Anthrax, Slayer, Pantera, uh, uh, Exodus. Right. That's, yeah. and I'm glad because that's that's not my normal thing. Yeah. So for me to do that is just a, it's a challenge, and I and I love it, and it's a great honor to be up there with all these guys. So yeah, we've been saying that with Billy stepping up to the plate with this stuff is completely out of his element, which I love. I mean, he can play anything; it doesn't matter. He's Billy, but um, the way he's doing it, he took it on, and that's what I as a player, as a player, it inspires me, dude, because like he just took it and said, "I'm going to do this." It, into this, it could sound like a, or feel like a hostile environment, but it's really not because we want him. You know what I mean? So of course, come on in, join the team. But uh, he stepped it up, and and that's what this whole thing like. Exodus, we're playing, we're finally playing, you know, a, a different song, which is great. We're playing Exodus, Pantera. There's a whole slew of songs that people get freak the fuck out on tonight. Anthrax. I didn't know Billy's playing an Anthrax song for for God's sake tonight. I'm, I'm psyched about that. It's awesome. That's cool. I'm actually singing it because so I don't have to play. It's nice. So <laughs> it's it's a really good thing. Pantera. Dude, Slayer, this is a fun night. It's just a good celebration of metal, man. It really is. Very cool. Absolutely. And and Billy, this is your first Metal Masters appearance. It is. I hope it's not my last. I you know, obviously. But, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, just... I'm not, are there any songs especially that you wanted to tackle on bass, being such a, a prolific bassist in your own right? Well, just the, this genre alone. I wasn't familiar enough with enough of the songs to pick anything specifically, but when I found out there was Slayer, Pantera, Exodus, Anthrax, I, I dove into it. I was at home, and I, I downloaded all the songs, and I got them all and figured them all out, or tried to, as best as I could. I, Frank, yeah. Frank coached me through a couple parts here. Thank you, Frank. You got it, though, man. It was right. You were right on anyway. But uh, it, it, it's just the, that challenge of going into the unknown and doing something you don't normally do. I mean, it'd be like uh, you, you normally do... Uh, a video or are you a print media? Uh, I'm just bad at everything. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, imagine yeah. then imagine having to write a book. Yeah, right. You know, it's a, it's a different <laughs> yeah, challenge. Exactly. I think this may be the day. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so, Gary, you know, we saw you on Mayhem Fest this year with Slayer. I have to say, you're absolutely phenomenal with them, Thanks. really, truly. And um, with the whole process, has it been difficult being away from Exodus at all? It, you know, is it going to be? Uh, really bittersweet when you're finished with Slayer. You know when uh, well, when Jeff you know, comes just, back. You know I'm just wearing two hats right now. You know and just you know because when the Slayer thing came up, I was gonna like take like some time and and just kind of lay low at home and do just select shows and write the next Exodus record. And you know that's what I've been doing. I've been writing all along and and uh, you know I don't have a whole lot going on for the rest of the year. So. I'm hoping to get in the studio for the next Exodus record, you know, probably, hopefully, you know, around the end of the year or something like that. But, you know, it's like last year we did the the Slayer Rob Zombie Exodus tour, so I did double duty, you know. Played a show, and went back and combed my hair and went back out and did it again. You know? Not a bad gig. Not too bad. No. We did a couple of shows where we played back-to-back, -back, though, because outdoors and 
Rob Zombie had all the like, you know, the LED screens and needed the darkness for that stuff to be effective. And it was like 99 degrees and 100% humidity. And those were rough because I played a set, got off stage, and 20 minutes later I was back doing it again. And yeah, that, that one was hard. Yeah, and uh, you know, for you guys who have, uh, this is now going to be, you know, multiple Metal Masters appearances. You know, when you guys are up and playing a song by someone like Slayer, who's maybe their uh, style is a little more uh, atmospheric or demonic, you know, than a, more of the aggressive style you guys play, uh, do you tend to put your own personality into those songs? Do you try to, or do you try to walk the line more or less of what's already been recorded? I just learn the songs as is, and if I fuck it up, I'll ask Gary or Kerry yeah. <laughs> uh, what I fucked up on, and. Really, and then we find, that's what sound checks about, that's what rehearsals about. I try to learn it, you know, the right way, but you know, that maybe a little influence. Like Bill, you did some great stuff on um, uh, uh, what song was it the other day, the Slayer song? You did some, I don't know what Chemical you did, Warfare. Chemical Warfare. You did yeah. a great little piece that I never heard done, mm. and I said that's a good little addition right there. Just it in, yeah, though. dude, it sounded so cool though. I, I mean, it sounds like a kiss set. So I just heard it as a bass <laughs> bass player. You just heard it. It's like, man, that sounds so cool, man. But. Why not? It's his own little flavor. It's pretty amazing. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, it's just I never heard it before, and it was nice. I, I, I like yourself. I want to. I want to stick with. Uh, I want to. I want Kerry to be happy right, with right. what I'm playing. You know, right. it's like I want you to be happy and you to be happy yeah. when I'm playing your stuff. Uh, that's important to me. But of sometimes, you know, somebody will say, well, you know, give a give us a little thingy there. A little, okay. little flavor. It was a little, yeah, a little flavor. And, and you know what? It was nice for the for the dish. Cool. You know what I mean? It really was. Just not too much salt. It, not, not too much salt. You could add exactly. all you want. I'll just <laughs> stop playing and watch, dude. <laughs> that's why sometimes I just let him go. It's, like, it's good, man. I want to watch. Roof one more. I was, I was watching tonight because I just wanted to watch. All right. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> all right. One more question. I'll let you guys go. Uh, this Metal Masters clinic is very filled with uh, veteran musicians with very, very uh, influential careers. <laughs> but uh, if you were to handpick someone from maybe uh, a newer band, uh, and not just a newer band, but also any person in history, dead or alive, who would you want uh, to be a part of this clinic? Well, we were discussing the late, great Rory Gallagher. Oh. Yeah. Awesome, Rory Gallagher. If I could play Follow Me live with Rory Gallagher, that'd be awesome. Gary uh, Moore. Gary Moore. I would like um, Phil and Not. Oh, dude. Phil and Not. Right. Imagine having him there. Oh, I would do that in a second. I just, just, I just all watch thin like Lizzie this. Songs I just watch. Dude, oh, just let God. him do it. I, I'll jam. I'll, I'll play the bass for him. I'll, whatever I got to do, hear that voice. I'll watch oh, his man. car for him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go mow his lawn. That's a great question. You know what? Hendrix. Imagine Hendrix up there. I mean, that. that's it. Imagine Bon Scott. Oh Imagine just jamming with Bon Scott, just any ACDC song you want to, imagine that, just once, you know? <laughs> It'd be crazy. It'd be insane, just, <laughs> it's one of my favorite you know, it's like, oh, We're fans, we're fans, insane. so. Would you settle for the, uh, what was it, the, the, hol the holograms of those, like they did with Tupac? Oh, Tupac, yeah, I, that looked crazy, it was good though, they, it actually looked good, but no, I want the real deal. If you, you could offer, you know. You can do a hologram of me and I'll just sit back <laughs> and drink beer. Inevitably, that's what's going to happen with the touring, we're all going to put out holograms, yeah, you guys, you just got to press the button. Well, thank you guys so much. I thank truly you. appreciate it. Can't wait for the show tonight. Gary Holt, Billy Sheehan, Frank Bellow. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs>